happening, fellas? It's Labor Day, Monday, and we're having a little fun here. Unless you live under a rock, you probably know about these e-bikes. These are the big tire beach cruiser models right here, and they're made by an American named Jim Decker. We'll tell you a little bit about him. Pretty cool story. Nice looking bike there, Junior. What do you think? This is the uh, this is the pro model. Guys, check this out. So Jim Decker, Mesa, Arizona, that's where the company's based. He's building these and there's a, there's a whole lot of pride. This, this massive BMX bike frame. Look at the welds on this thing pops. It's, it's totally overbuilt. So check it out. It's got a 750 watt hub motor with a thousand watt uh, top power. It's fat tire. It's got hydraulic brakes, a Shimano gear shifter. Uh, the Pro comes with an LED color display showing your, uh, your, your wattage and, and your power and, and your charge and, and speed and stuff like that. This is the, the sport model that Jordan was riding. Is this so like a his and hers? This one looks more like a boy's bike with the uh, the bar going up higher, and that one's got the... the um, this frame has more of a... Um, I don't know if it's it's uh, more of a uh, girl style with the, the frame going down a little lower, but anyways, what were you saying? Guys, they've got a 30-mile range and a super powerful, proven electronic motor. The battery's fully integrated. On the SS model, you've got the telescoping forks, You've got, of course, like I said, the hydraulic brake brakes. These are billet lock-on grips that are super comfortable. This is a chromoly um, uh, rotating assembly here, 175 millimeter, and these are billet sole fast pegs. You look around, and all the componentry on this bike is labeled sole fast. There's a, there's a lot of pride. Jim Decker, he uh, he grew up riding BMX and racing dirt bikes, and he actually bought a Mako 500 from us. He's a big bore addict. I like him already. Just like us, yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, um, they're huge. They're 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 really involved in the community. They have a, a booth at all the Supercross rounds uh, for Soul E Fast, and they've actually donated thirty five thousand dollars worth of product to uh, 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 Road to Recovery Foundation. Which yeah, so you might have seen these in the Supercross pits before, because um, that's what they they use these to, to get around in the pits. If you're at Daytona for the Supercross, or you're at A one, usually it's like a half a mile from the pits to the. Uh, to the track so there's a lot of walking and having one of these you can zoom around and see everything in short order and the best part is they have headlights on them so you can ride them at night what's the range on these you, you get about 30 miles to a charge and you can go about 30 miles an hour on, on these things with ease um they got a big comfortable saddle adjustable seat post i'm forgetting a lot of stuff on the spec but guys check it out you have the cnc welded um sole branded uh, frame there just a massive backbone as well this is it's a it's totally overbuilt in in well meant to commute um several miles or go on the beach or or you know go out, go out on the huntington beach pier really that's what these things were, were built for i see the tires on this one are more of a street tread and that one's more of a an off-road knobby tread um oh guys check it out it's got a bottle opener on the on the seat in the back here how cool is so that if you're feeling thirsty it's got the, the billet bar mounts just uh, honestly a super impressive spec in a market where well with these e-bikes a lot of them are, are made in china um the fact that he's a motocrosser uh he was he actually raced at ponca city on the red Lynn, so he was an expert level rider grew up racing bmx bikes he was at nine years old jim decker worked in a bicycle shop in California building the FMF bikes and he was actually sponsored by FMF when he was nine years old which later became SE bikes so he's been around racing his whole life look at the tailbone of the frame here and guys the kickstands welded on there's no clamp on garbage here all sealed bearings um, the brakes are ridiculous it's it's something that you know you could race around on it looks super beefy actually, like you can take yeah. a serious beating you know yeah it stands tall it's a big frame but you can put the seat post nice ni nice and low and it's like a it's like a bmx, BMX bike, bike on steroids right? basically it's like an oversized bmx bike and it's got this really cool like on the chevrolet ss so it's got some it's got some um, cool design and culture and features to it so guys check it out we just became a dealer uh through soul fast e-bikes and uh we get the full lineup this is the, the pro model. Jordan's got the sport. They, they start all the way down at the bottom with some more basic components and they're super affordable. If you're interested in placing an order, you can go to soulefast.com. Uh, uh, Link will be in the description. And, or you can call in and, uh, and we can place an order for you. Get you a phenomenal price through the dealership drop. Now, now if they order it 
on their website? Is there some kind of code they can put in? They know they, that they're buying Actually, it because of we us? Have, we have it in the works. We're going to have Kaplan uh, Soul eat fast. So uh, they get a discount? For sure. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Hey, why don't you guys zoom around on them a little bit here? Right. See what they can do. So these two are actually for sale, and they're going up on on uh, eBay right now. So you can call in and uh, and get pricing on these two, and read more about them on SolyFastBikes.com. If you want something to take with you to Loretta Lynn's, where you're gonna, you pretty much have to have a, a golf cart to get around, or you'll die. Or if you want to go to uh, Southwick, and uh, you're in the pits, and you want to get up to the uh, concessions, nothing better than the e-bike to get around. What do you think, George? This is actually one of the most fun things I've ridden in a while. That's awesome. It's a mixture between bicycle and a dirt bike. So if you want to get some exercise, you can pedal. But if you just want to do 30 miles an hour in the wind. You get tired, there you go. Oh yeah, these things rip. Don't forget to use the brakes. So what do you think, man? And you don't need to pedal. There is a throttle on the, you can just kind of cruise around. It's fast. You go down West Main Street, you're going 30 miles an hour. That's the speed of traffic. With the price of fuel going through the roof and a lot of places getting shut down for right. riding, it's pretty cool to have something like this. You could actually take it on the rail trail where they only allowed bicycles and, and ride this thing. This isn't a basic set of force. You have adjustable compression and, uh, and rebound, I believe. Very cool. What colors they come in? All different colors. Yeah, check out the site. They've got them. In What's the website again? Soul E-Bikes? It'll be uh, down in the description. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. If you Google Soul E-Bikes or Jim Decker, there should be a ton of information that comes up. Good quality Shimano components. So these guys are already super involved in the community. If you go to Supercross events, you've probably already seen these uh, kicking around the pits. You actually met him because so. he bought the, the Mako 500 with the polished motor, the real tricked out one that That's we had. Right, yeah, he, he bought the 86 uh, MC 500 and we had it shipped out to Arizona for him. And, and uh, actually we got to talking and, and eventually, uh, you know, he set us up with these, these two to start. So we can check out the product and, and uh, do some testing. And right now, we've ridden these around the shop uh, quite a bit. We gotta get a mileage. I think we've done like 10 miles on on, on the pro here, and uh, all smiles, all thumbs up from the team. I know uh, Kyle is using it to go back and forth for, from the uh, detail shop, uh, managing the staff, and and. Uh, in between going to college, Kenny's little sister Jordan's going to be here doing some riding demos and testing. And we just ordered a Gas Gas 125 MC with some Troy Lee Designs gear for us. So she's going to make it a make it a comeback. So stay tuned for that. She used to race. She won four championships against the boys racing motocross when the four to six class. It's been a few years, but she's going to get back out there. And no better way to get your your um, mind to muscle coordination back than on an e bike. You know, ride the heck out of these. It's very similar to a motorcycle. You do have a throttle, although it's a, it's a thumb throttle, right? It's a, specificity is the number one training principle, and it uh, doesn't get any more specific than on two wheels. And uh, charge it up, ride it during the week. I mean, Jordan could commute to work on this thing. She lives, uh, what, like eight miles up the road? Yeah. Easily commute to work on this thing and, and back. And, and save a fortune on fuel. Yeah, save a fortune for sure. And, and have a lot more fun. Yeah, I think these are going to get super popular in, in the cities, and stuff, especially at the price point. Do they have different models besides these two? or They do. They, they have a whole lineup uh, that you can read about on their website. Very cool. Come on. Now, there's a pedal assist Jordan was just talking about a minute ago. How does that work? So you can you can turn it up and down, but basically you turn it on, and when you pedal, it has the electronic assist, and you can turn it off completely. So if, if it's dead and you're miles away from home, you can just ride it like a normal bike, so you have the versatility. It's not like... You know, you run it until it's out of fuel, and then you're and then you're toast. You know. So these are one of the hottest and strongest integrated battery electric frames in the industry, designed by one of us, a, a big That's bore right. two-stroke rider yep. who's been in the industry since he was a kid, raced motocross. A, a couple, it's not like it, it's it's made by some pencil pusher uh, overseas. This is these are made by an American, designed by an American to his spec. Yeah, a, who was a pro BMX rider, a sponsored pro BMX rider since he was nine. To show, so all of the wiring's concealed, so it's it's weather it's weather tight. But also the uh, um, the cables run through the frame. There's a couple touches on, I don't, on these bikes that, that I don't know are, if I mentioned the paint jobs off the hook on this. That's, that's a staple. That that's really the calling card of Soul uh, Soul Fast e bikes. 
is is the paintwork on the frame. This it thing is really, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it's a hot looking bike. Thing of beauty. My favorite bike that we have here is my BMX bike. I have a extra large specialized BMX bike. They don't make them anymore in it. The frame style is pretty similar to this. They're a lot of fun. Send it, George. Mm -hmm. So when you pedal, it's a pedal assist. So if you're on a regular bicycle where you might be going five miles an hour, you're gonna be going 10 or 15 on this thing. I believe the top speed is 35 miles an hour on these, which is pretty fast. You see that? Holy. I just went over the curb like nothing too. So does it say this top speed on it somewhere? I thought it said 35 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, or is it 30 miles an hour? We, we've had it over 30 miles an hour okay. easily. Yeah. You want me to find out real quick? Yeah, let's Let see, see what she'll do. Let's go. do a drive-by. Hey, Moses, do you see an e-bike in your future? It beats pedaling, right? Oh, yeah. This is my first time I've seen e-bikes. E I think they are something modern, you know? They're just coming to the system. Bikes. They're great bikes. Hey, guys, patronize. What did you say, Moses? You need one? Uh, yeah, I'm buying one. You're going to get one? one? And I don't have... That's definitely moving. He's flying. And the, dog is, the dogs are admiring the e bike <laughs> <laughs> That was 35, almost 36 miles an hour. Yeah, you might want to have a helmet on. Probably didn't break like 60 feet a minute either. Like nothing. If you can get a little cardio, you can go fast and get cardio. Same, same endorphin rush and adrenaline as riding a, a motorcycle. That's pretty fast, 36 miles an hour. Let's see what you'll do. Let's see what you can do, George. And she goes. Awesome. Sorry for the shaky video here. Walking the dog. Jump off, off the uh, concrete patio. There you go, man. Looks like they're having fun. So Jordan's 17. She just graduated from high school. And she's going to college. And working here part time. So you'll be seeing more of her doing test rides. Her 125 should be coming in soon. How are you? Hello. Go get him. Go get him. She's protecting her mama, that's all. So uh, what about night riding? Yeah guys, you, you hold the plus sign, LED light starts shining. You turn it off real easy if you're going out on the trail. So if it gets dark, you got an LED light. You can't tell in the daytime, but it's super bright at night. Wow. Jordan, you got your light on too? <laughs> Look at that, huh? Wow. Send it. Oh yeah. Let's pop a wheelie. Send it. Not there yet. You working on it? Willy, Willy. Headlight on for safety. Virtually silent, too. Very silent. Neighbors are going to like that. I don't even know you're riding. You want your e-bikes, you want your CR500 AFs, brand new ones, give us a call. We'll hook you up. Or how about a brand new gas gas? Barsha edition. Three new. Is it 250? 
350, 450. We got a 550 coming soon, but that one's kind of off the record. Two stroke 545 we're building on the gas gas chassis and a 533. But back to the electric bikes. If you want, want to buy one of these, give us a call, 860-454-7024. We have these two in stock and um, plenty, plenty we can get from the warehouse. Any final words about the e-bikes before we fire up this Barsha edition? Guys, we can drop ship them right to your house. Uh, call with any questions, 860-454-7024. How much do they cost? Well, it depends on the model. They start, uh, you can get the Sport for, uh, contact us for a price. Yeah, give us a call, 860-454-7024. And as always, God bless the United States of America. Happy Labor Day. Have a great weekend.